start recording. All right, guys. Uh, let me start by sharing my screen first. Now, <laughs> all right, let's rock and roll. All right, let me know if you guys can see my screen. Did I do it right? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you guys can see my screen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, my man. All right, guys, what's going on, man? Um, I guess we'll give it like maybe one or two more minutes to see if anybody else wants to join. Um, for the meantime, let's just really quick take a look at Bitcoin, man. Like I said, dude, this thing is is holding, bro. Yo, bro, when I told you we played this shit perfect, man, this week, Brian, like, yo, twice, man. We hit it the first time for what was it for like only this little drop right here. This was the first hit we hit, and this took us like 150%. But then we also grabbed this one this weekend, and it gave us all of this, right? That shit was like almost 300%. So, you know, we caught it on the mark, man. This is why I love these Sunday preps because, you know, we've been talking about this. And for those of you that are just joining us, man, like, we go over Sunday preps. Well, it was Sunday prep, but we changed it over to Monday prep. Um, you know, we've always, always look at Bitcoin, right? Because Bitcoin is the mother coin, you know, it's the coin that pretty much stands out and, and the others follow, right? So, you know, if you can really get a good gauge on, on your Bitcoin, right? You can definitely get a good gauge on your alt and your other coins, Ethereum as well. Um, you know, if you can kind of grab them both simultaneously at the same time and just, you know, practice like that, right? So here we had the supply zone for fucking days and weeks right we've had this out since it gave us this high okay we put this demand zone which now turned into a demand zone right because it came down and bounced which was a supply zone we had it drawn out all of this too right we were there when they did this nice little run up we looked for that double top i think some of us took advantage of that um i slipped up that week and i freaking forgot about this zone and i wanted to play the short and I forgot. And again, it was good enough for a nice scalp, right? Like, as you can see, it didn't really go down all the way when it did it the first time. Um, but it was a good scalp. You know, same thing that I was aiming for this zone, guys. We've been looking at this zone. And again, you can go back on any one of our, our Sunday preps and see that we've been looking at this zone for quite some time, guys. We've been looking at this zone for a long time. And I've had this limit short entry typed on here for like the past three Sundays or four Sunday preps that we had. Why? Because this was the last daily real resistance that we had, you know, and again, this is the daily chart, right? So anything you can guys can find on the daily and four hour charts tend to uh, hold more value than something you would find on a one minute chart. You know what I mean? And again, you know, everything is different, but bigger time frames will always confirm stronger trends. Okay. So, you know, we were already looking for this zone, um, you know, for the past few weeks, I mean, shit, I didn't think we were going to be up here right now, man, to be, <laughs> to be honest. But even this day, right? Look at the fucking green candle we had this day, dude. This will show you, man, how, you know, just like Bitcoin was quick to come down to all these levels, right? 15K, guys. Look how fast we're already at 25. You know, that shows you that anything is possible. When I say that in these chats, I mean every word, man. Anything is possible when it comes to trading, especially crypto for some reason. Um you never know, right? Everybody was saying 12K, 12K. Now I don't hear anybody. Now the 12Kers, I don't hear a peep out of them. I don't hear anyone mentioning even the word 12K anymore, right? They all disappeared, right? Because they all, you know, and this is why I tell you guys, you can't go off of what you see and hear and read on Twitter and these news, you know, Instagram pages and shit like that. Why? Because I had a student like that, right? I had a student that, you know, he depended on everything he found on Twitter. You know, if he Twitter, the pages that he was following would say that longing, you know, Bitcoin that week, then he would long the shit, you know, go heavy in his port and long Bitcoin. And I remember one week he came to me down, down and out with his tail between his legs. He's like, Kenny, fuck, man, I lost so much money this week. I'm like, why? Uh, he's like, well, dude, because every single person that I'm following told me that Bitcoin was going up. And the shit went down. I'm like, okay, brother. And how many people are you following? He's like, dude, I'm following over 100 people. I'm like, all right, well, what about the 200 people that are saying it's going down? Like, who do you believe, man? There's nobody knows where these things go, guys. I, I, you know, I can't say that enough. Nobody knows where these things go. Nobody could tell you that, hey, by next week, Bitcoin is going to be at 29. They can, they can say it, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. 
You know what I mean? Like when we, us as analysts, me, Brian, anyone here in Good Vibes that we've hired as an analyst, tell you, you know, things is, is because we're telling you based off of our TA, right? Again, that is not factual. It's not telling you that it's going to happen. And that, guys, you know, you should take that into consideration when you're getting into these calls, right? Just because even somebody says, oh, yeah, guys, I'm going to long it here because Bitcoin by next week is going to, you know, be at 22K. Then ask them that. Be like, okay, well, then how the fuck do you know that? Like, what in source, what inside source or what sorcery are you performing that is telling you that Bitcoin by next week is going to be at this level? There is no way, guys. If anything, what TA does for us, and the reason we go so hard in our TA is that it presents opportunities like this short that we got, right? That we were able to, fuck, man, almost hit 400% on one trade, another almost 200% on the next. Why we were able to do that? Because TA presents opportunities like that, right? Just because I had this zone drawn out for weeks, almost months, and just because I had this limit short entry for weeks, you know, waiting for Bitcoin to see if it even ever got here. You know, I was waiting to short it. Why? Because I was just following something that I've seen in the past, right? If in the past, it shows me that one, two, three, four, five, six days, it had got rejected in this zone, almost seven with this one exact right here, then fuck, there's a really good chance that if we come up here, we're going to get a rejection and hey, we got it, you know? We got it right. Like again, I wasn't, ex and I wrote it on that short. I wasn't expecting, you know, for it to hit here and come down to 10k or 15k. No, God, no. I don't know if that shit is even possible right now. The way the market is pushing, right? But I wanted it enough to get a fucking good trade, a good pullback. Now, right now, I'm fucking so bullish on this man. Like, if you guys can't see that, we're almost nearing that bull market by now then shit guys you, you know wake up man like we're, we're there you know we were at 16k in december right still in january 15k 16 two months later we're up 20k <laughs> we're up fucking 10,000 points already like it's this market it's it's pushing and this is why look even with this short that i had predicted man yes knock on wood you know, that's what TA does, right? This is why we practice it. This is why we teach you guys. This is why we focus so much on education because we want you guys to learn this, not just follow our calls. And it's fun to follow calls. I'm not going to say it's not. I used to do the same thing until I finally took it upon myself to learn how to do this, right? It's work. You know, it's going to take work. But once you get it, it's fucking fun as hell. It, it, it's such a good feeling that I can fucking go heavy or pretty heavy on a trade because I felt really confident in this short that, I, that it played out twice on me, man, and it paid off. You know, it, it fucking worked out beautifully, right? And again, I'm not, you know, I'm not greedy, right? I, Of course, I wanted a 500% or a 1,000, but I take what the market can give me. I don't know that it's going to reject from here to 15K, but shit, it did show us that it rejected, right? And look, one, two, three, four, almost five days again, rejecting in this zone. Is that a coincidence? No, it's showing us right here. It, you know, if we look to the left, historically that there's some fucking sell pressure here that there's a lot of sell pressure here. that every time these candles push up to this zone you know the sellers the bulls come in i mean the bears come in and they push it back down right so that's exactly what that last trade was on it was based on strictly you know something factual that i see with my own eyes you know that is showing me that we have resistance at this zone right and what did i say on my call i'm gonna play it for this pullback that's all i want I don't expect this shit to go to 20K or 15, but we made enough for a nice pullback. Now the market is pushing. <laughs> it looks like it wants to push beyond it. And I told you guys the next move was a good breakout from this zone. You know, now that we've shown that it rejected, but look, we're still here. What happens when you tap, tap, tap uh, on resistance? It breaks, right? Same thing happened here. We wanted to play this one. Some of the guys did. It was a double top, clear double top. It went down. It performed, right? Again, performance is performance. It doesn't have to be a fucking thousand percent, you know, for it to perform. It could be 50% and that's performance. You know, as long as you're taking profits and, and you're happy with it, that's performance, right? Because you obviously grabbed something that was historically showing you that there's sell pressure here. Okay. But again, what happens when you're tapping, 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 tapping resistance? Eventually it breaks. Look what we're doing right now. We're doing, picture this right here into this right here. What are we doing? Tapping, 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 tapping. 
we're not coming back down. We haven't, you know, we did again. The second day was beautiful, right? Like it, it worked out beautifully, man. It fucking went up as high as 25-2. God damn it. Hold on one second, guys. Give me one second. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. So again, what happens when something gets tapped over and over? Eventually, it breaks, right? This is what, again, this is my opinion, my theory. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? Again, try to get used to, you know, hearing these traders and listening to what they say and when they tell you these things, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm never going to tell you guys that I know what's going to happen because I don't, dude. I, I don't. Like, I really don't. I play things off of what I see historically, you know, facts, things that are there that I'm looking with my own eyes, you know, what I've seen and what I'm seeing right now is that one, we're in an overall bull trend, right? And here's your bull, here's your nice uptrend for that overall bull trend, right? And again, factual shit, right? Like, look, we're having lower highs, right? It bounced right on that trend line and in this demand zone, exploded up from there okay so we're continuing a nice uptrend right now overall and mind you this is a daily uptrend at that can this still come down and do all of this absolutely we can absolutely reject today or tomorrow and start coming down and even if we're gonna follow this trend bounce here and continue going up or it could break trend and bounce again off of this demand and then go up or it could you know these are all the different possibilities right or it can break both of these things play a nice short and fuck man you'll probably write it down to the low 15 and 18s again right anything's possible when i tell you guys anything is possible to you know we're at 24k today we could be at 18k tomorrow we could be at 15k tomorrow we could be at 30k tomorrow you know anything is possible try to play these things for what they are when they're in front of you you know what i mean so again just off of my knowledge right off of things that i've learned from the market off of what i'm seeing right now i am bullish right now why because i'm almost seeing this exact pattern that we had in the last mind you this was a supply zone and it was a strong one and it fucking rejected a few times boom finally poked out and gave us a new demand zone right we're, we're, we're keep tapping at this little wall guys and again this is a strong one you know, I've, I, I've said it over and over in our classes, in our Monday preps, in our Sunday preps. This is a strong one. And this is one that will have me believing that we're back in the bull market, right? Again, when I say we're bullish territory and we're in a bullish market, it's two different things. Bullish territory is what was happening, is what happening right now, right? Like for the past fucking, you know, almost two months, we're super bullish. You know, does that mean we're in a bull market? Hell no. For me to... To even think of us being in a bull market or back or Bitcoin being back on track, I need to see us up here in the 30K levels. This is where they normally, where Bitcoin really hangs around. You know, this is, this was that universal, you know, supply zone at that one point before she finally broke and went down to shit, right? Like it used to always bounce here. And why? Because factual is showing us historically that every time Bitcoin used to get to these 30K levels, 28 between 30, boom, it used to explode until it finally broke it, right? I need us to be back here. Once we reach this level again up here and we start coming all to these levels, then I'll say we're in a bull market, man. You know, but right now we're 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 well on our way into being back into a bull market, guys. When you see fucking run up like this, when you see people shorting, 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 and this shit is just breaking past their resistance points, it's 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 your bull market, right? It's or it's your bullish market, you know. And again, you can see it, man. We've been in a strong uptrend for fuck almost two months already, you know, almost two months in this nice, nice strong uptrend. If we were down, you know, remember, guys, we were in this downtrend for a whole year, right? So what, what, what's not to say that we can't see a whole year of uptrend right now? And of course, just like our downtrend, you know, we have days and days where we can play still going up, right? You can still make your money up going the opposite way, right? Like just like if for you, you know, you bears, right? You guys love to short, you know, just because we're in a bullish sentiment doesn't mean that there's no pl uh, place for your shorts. Of course there is, man. There's always going to be days, you know, where look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days of, sh of shorts, you know, in a bullish trend. You know what I mean? So don't get discouraged, man. Like for those of you guys that love to short a resistance, keep your mind still on it. Just know and and tread carefully right because when you're in a bullish market 
it, it breaks through resistance like knife through butter, man. And we've seen it, right? Like we've seen it over and over. I think we've all been stopped out quite a few times in shorts, you know, for the past <laughs> two weeks or a few months, you know, we've all been stopped out in shorts because we're just seeing fucking, you know, strong moves to the upside. Even on the weekends, we're starting to see strong moves when our normal, you know, the norm was seeing the weekends. Oh shit, Friday and then, and, and, you know, uh, Thursday, Friday ran up, but then Saturday, Sunday, we would see a nasty drop. You know, we were so used to that shit that even I started playing the weekends. All right, well, it's the weekend. Things are going to go down. That's not the case anymore, man. We're starting to get strong run-ups even on the fucking weekends. Even today is a holiday. You know, today's pretty pretty stagnant, I want to say. But what is this, Monday? No, this is still Monday. Yeah, right? So, I mean, look, even Monday's candle was green, man. You know, and it was it's a holiday, right? Like, we're, we're seeing a lot of strong bullish movement, which is really, really making me want to long this puppy right now. Um... You know, maybe until the next few days to see if we can push past this. But again, it's super. So I personally, I think I'd rather now that I already took this out, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to make a note of it that whenever we start getting close to this zone, I'm going to play the breakout. Right. Because that is the next strong zone, man. And I'm telling you guys from experience, I'm not saying it's going to happen. But from what I've seen and from what I've shown you guys with these supply and demand zones. Right. I shown you guys almost every time that when we have a strong supply of demand zone and it breaks, they break. Right. Strong, uh, this point is a, is a, excuse me, is a supply zone. Yeah. Breaks, right? Boom. It was a supply zone at one point turned into a demand zone. Breaks. You'll see big candles every time these things break, man. So expect that if we do break this level, this last strong wall, you know, again, I don't know where we'll go. We'll probably hopefully go to fucking 29K because, again, this is the next time I see, you know, some even close to resistance is back to these levels again, which would be great. And that's the 30K, guys. And we're at 25. So you're talking about a five fucking K run up, you know, a possible 5K run up if we do break the zone. You know what I mean? Th th those are facts. You know, those are things that, again, we broke it the first time and we dropped hard man look from 30k all the way to fucking 17 man that was a nasty drop what's to say that we can't push up that high as well you know so be optimistic be open-minded when it comes to trading guys you know that way you don't narrow yourself down to just one thing um you know and this is why i try to tell you guys right always try to play both sides of the coin get used to playing shorts and longs you know when you can master both you'll be just as fucking deadly man because then there's no market that you can't trade you know, even sideways market. I even taught you guys sideways market, right? When the shit is sideways, you know, and this is literally going sideways, right? Let's say this was your sideways market. You're boxed in like this. It's only going from here to there. Then what you're doing, you're playing your shorts up here. You're playing your longs down here, right? And again, it won't be much percentages, 30, 50%, but that's something that's better than losses. And that's one way to train your eyes to, you know, get these points, man. There's always going to be something for us to trade, guys, whether it's fucking Bitcoin, whether it's Forex, options, stocks, and dices, commodities. As long as we have a chart that we can see and, and look at, we're going to have something to trade, you know? Um, any questions so far, my people? Actually, I want to put this a little closer. I want to put it right above this wick. But yeah, man, I'm looking for the breakout, man. I'm really, really looking for the breakout on this. Um, right now, as much as I want along, you know, to see if it breaks, I mean, it's it's really not worth it right now, right? We're, we're almost smack dab in the middle, which is fine. It'll, this will just make me look at other coins, at, to be honest. You know, whenever Bitcoin does this, you know, sideways shit where it's not really moving much or it's right smack dab in the middle between your support and your resistance, then, you know, I, I don't like to touch it. I don't like to touch it. For those of you that are new, you know, that's called pretty much no man's land when you're trading in the middle, right? Because even if you started a long position here, you know, you, you kind of got to put, you know, either on your trend line, which is a strong support. So your stop loss is all the way down here. And the same thing for your shorts. You know, even if you enter here, your stop loss has to be all the way up here, man. And that's a pretty big fucking move. Look, that's if you're doing 100x, that's almost 200% loss. So you know, you, you want to wait to, for these things to be closer, man. If I'm going to short this, I want to make sure that it's, you know, close to here, right? Right? Because we're seeing it again here. We've seen rejections here. We've seen it here. And we've seen it here. So I want to see this a little higher if I am going to play the short, um, you know. But if it's still showing us, man, that she's pushing, then I'm I'm not going to jump in it there. I'm going to wait for the breakout. You know, I'm going to wait for a clear breakout out of this zone 
you know, and try to ride that fucker up, see how high she can go. Um, so yeah, as of right now, I'm pretty neutral, I want to say. Um, I'm more bullish than anything, right, as far as, you know, and I think even our market shows it. Let me see. Let me just look at these coins. I haven't even looked at that, the watch list all day today. So, okay, so we have more red than green today. I want to say maybe like a... Maybe like a 60% red, 40% green, which, you know, again, you know, this is one way, guys, of how to quickly look at your market. You know, you hit percent change, you look at your greens, you look at your, you know, your reds. If you have all reds, right? And again, these are for you new guys that just started joining us. If you have all reds in your watch list, ding, 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 you know, that day is, is, is a short day. You should be looking for shorts, right? And again, for those of you guys that are new, if you're looking for shorts, we have our TA section. We have, you know, our our patterns that we, you know, try to teach you guys to kind of, you know, drill in your heads, right? Whenever the market is red, you know, look for your bearish patterns, right? Your double tops, you know, your inverted cup and handles that these things perform day to day. They're, they're repetitive, you know, and I always say this to these guys. These things come out more often than you realize, man. You just got to train your eyes to find it. And they're fucking there, I can promise you guys. And on any time frame, you'll see this shit on daily. You'll see it on the one minute. You'll see this on the 15 minute, five minutes. But they're there. You just got to train your eyes to find it, you know. But these are your bearish patterns. And believe it or not, guys, I do this every time. When I see what the market is doing, like a day like today, it's almost half and half. So, you know, you're good on your longs. You're good on your shorts. Fuck it. You can play any one of these, right? If you find it, you know, you can play them. But if I'm looking for shorts, I'm looking at bearish channels. I'm looking at bear flags. I'm looking at rising wedges. You know, if the market is green, you know, there will be days where you look at your list and every single fucking coin is green. Bitcoin is running up. Everything is super green. Well, guess what? You come to your list right here. You look for these patterns, your double bottoms, right? Your inverse head and shoulders, your cup and handle. One of my favorite. This is actually one of the top. What was it? Even um, our, what's the name of that shit? Our AI our AI bot, our artificial intelligence GBT bot, man, that we have up here. For those of you that don't know, you know, ask it, what's the most profitable um, pattern? And it'll tell you, it'll give you the top 10, the top 10, one of the top five or top three is your, is your cup and handle. This is one of my favorite ones to find, you know, and then again, if you look for it, you will see it in your chart. Beautiful thing to play, man. You know, you try to grab it at the handle, right? When it's in that, you know, in that uh, handle, uh, it almost looks like a, what is it, a bearish channel? But once it breaks, boom, a bear flag, should I say? Once it breaks, bam, it breaks. You know, again, when just breakout trades, man. But these are the trades you kind of want to look for when your market is pushing up, your bull flag, right? Boom, goes, does a little bearish channel, but the breaks. That's exactly what this is right here. That's your bear flag on a cup and handle. See? Breakouts, you know, bullish pennants. You look for that, your, your higher lows, your lower highs, when they're all meeting like this and it's getting tightening up and squinting in like this boom you eventually get a pop right pop or a drop ascending triangle another one straight edge um resistance with higher lows tends to and brian this is the one that i showed you the other day brother this is the one that we were looking at um was it mtl fil one of those shits that we were looking it was me you and um and Jay Leezy that night, and this is what I spotted on that one trade that I was telling yeah. you. It's it's it a nice cool. right, like dude, and that didn't that shit play out just like this? Yeah, even though I was trying to short it like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happens, brother. It happens. Fuck it, man. Yeah. But you know, I was yeah. showing Brian that right that it was this exact pattern on a, on a chart there, and dude, when I you know it exploded up like that. So again, guys, if you train your eyes. You know, I'm going to update this more because I want to have at least 10 of the top ones. I think I have about seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So I'll add the next three and I'll make sure again, that's my promise to you guys. I'll make sure that you guys have at least the top 10 in your bearish patterns and the top 10 in your bullish patterns. So that way you, when you guys see what your market is doing, right, your market is super green. You go to your list and look for your bullish patterns. You know, your market is red. Fine. That's OK. We, who cares? Right. We, we, we're we not, you know, we're, 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 we're not attached to the market. We don't care where Bitcoin goes as long as it gives us something to trade. Right. Then fuck it. If it, the market is red, then we're shorting. We're looking for our double tops. You know, we're looking for our, our excuse me, our what's it called? Uh, inverse. No, the head and shoulders. Right. Like you look for your bear, uh, bearish patterns, man.
But they're all there, guys. And again, I'm going to update it and make sure that you guys have everything you need. Yo, I'm telling you guys, man. I really feel like this motherfucker is going to fucking explode, man. I really feel like we're going to break these levels soon, man. And I'm hoping it's in the next few days. Look at us already pushing up, man. Uh, but that's fine, though, right? Like, whenever you miss trades like this, remember what I say. Bitcoin is that mover, right? So if Bitcoin is starting to look really bullish, even the day that we saw this, right? The first day that it came up here and we got the rejection, what's something you can always do, right? If you know your fucking Bitcoin is coming to a rejection point, or at least looks like it's coming to a strong rejection point, you know, look at your alt, man. Again, you don't always have to chase Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is looking funky, you know, look for something else that looks a little clear, right? Look at ways right now. I mean, XCZ. With a double top going on on TP number four, uh, three right now. Look at that sexiness. See? Boom, man. Just train your eyes, guys, man. This is why I love looking at charts every fucking day if I have to, man. I try to look at charts every day. And no, guys, I don't have the time sometimes, man. I have my kids. I'm running good vibes. I'm trying to run um black ties. Like, I'm trying to do a lot, man. But when I have the time, my eyes are always on these charts, man. And it's just this, trying to identify patterns, you know, identifying your levels. Knowing all these things will make you guys a better trader. Believe me on that, man. Like, just, you know, you got to put in the work. But look, right away, as soon as I clicked on this chart, double top, right? Now, if you would have caught it there, you had two four-hour candles that fucking came all the way down to here. Even though we're bullish, it's pulling up right now. But, you know, you see what I mean, right? Like, that's still a scalp. And this is a four-hour candle. So that's more than fucking, I don't know, 50%, you know, uh, 50x leverage. That's more than 30 40%. That's game for me. You know, I, I'm happy with those. I'm not aiming for these hundreds, guys. When I tell you I don't aim for them, I don't. I, I aim for profits. I aim for anything that I can take out, you know, add to my portfolio and be happy. If it's 20%, then, hey, I'll take 20% all day, every day, as long as it's not a loss. I hate losses. Losses make me feel like shit, makes me feel like I'm not a good trader, but they're part of the process, right? And the more you take your losses, sometimes it, it, it gives you that fucking push to learn this even more, right? The reason I, you know, know what I know now is because of those losses that kicked my ass, you know? And if I would have quit, then I would have never been here to this level, you know? You got to stick to this shit, guys. If you guys like this and you want to do this, you got to know that losses are part of it. Right. It's just how you manage them. You know, who is it? Um, I think we've talked about this before. There's certain traders that can take 10 losses and all they need is two or three wins to make up those 10 losses and more. Why? Because they're playing it smart. I think that's smart money concept. If I'm not mistaken. Right. They're putting, you know, they're at a resistance like this. Right. They're getting clutch fucking entries. They're waiting patiently for entries like this where. Hey, Kenny. What's up? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt you. I was going to say I posted a, I just played the breakout on mass just now because it passed nice. my golden pocket and nice. I'm up 115%. <laughs> God damn. As I'll an example, bullish, I, wanted to, I wanted to give you an example. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yo, Brian, and tell him how many hours and days of back testing. Like, right? This shit doesn't come overnight. But if anything, oh, no. guys, Please. from what I know, I've known Brian for almost two years. This kid has, and excuse me, not kid, this man has picked this shit up faster than most people I know. And again, this is just him trading every day, him looking at these charts. And Brian has picked up this shit faster than any person I have ever taught myself. Because Brian wants this. He likes this. This shit is fun for him, you know? When you when you gain a passion for this, right, Brian? Like, I mean, you just it's something you want to learn. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just fun to make money, you know? Oh, it <laughs> and it's fun being right. Yo, dude, it's fu I love being right, bro. That's one thing I love is fucking yeah. being right, man. And if, you know, if you study these things hard enough and you find these levels, man, when you get these entries, you're like, boom, oh, shit, damn, I'm right. And, oh, my God, I performed 100%. There you go. You know, that shit feels great, man. So, again, guys, you know, learn what you're learning now, right? The callers are here for a reason. They're there. Your step one into learning how to trade, right? You got to follow these guys and see what they do. And, you know, we'll teach these classes and show you guys. But eventually, we want you guys to all be able to do this shit by yourself. The whole reason I put together Good Vibes is because I want you guys to learn how to trade. If I wanted to be like every other fucking server that just shoots you guys calls, then I would load up the whole fucking list of every fucking play caller I know. And I know a lot of them. And I would just have like 50 fucking crypto guys, 50 fucking Forex, 50 stocks option, and just kick my feet up and never join the chat. 
that's not what I'm about, guys. I'm about education, man. I want you guys to learn. Yo, guys, I, you know, if you can tell by the way I talk, you know, I'm not an edu I'm not an educated guy. I didn't go to college and graduate and none of that shit, but I was able to get this. I got my GED. I got my, I had my kids young. You know, I didn't have the, the the luxury of being able to, you know, go to school and this and that. But it's okay. It's not where you start. It's where you finish. And that's something one of my high school football coaches told me. He's like, dude, it's not where you start. It's where you finish. You know, that shit stuck with me ever since. And this is a perfect example, man. I didn't, I didn't go to school for this. But I studied my ass off on this, right? I haven't read a book in fucking years after I left high school, right? But the first book I opened up was one on options trading. That's how passionate I was about it. I was like, holy shit, let me, let, me, let me try this book out. Boom. And I opened it and I started reading it. I was like, holy shit. And that led for me to read another book and another book on trading. That shows you that if you have a passion for something and you really want to get to know it, you just got to put the time in and you guys will get this, man. It is not hard. I'll tell you that much. It's not hard. What's hard is 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 all the hours of back testing you guys must do to do this right, right? Like, and it's part of it. This when we say guys, this is a process. It we mean it. You know, it, it's a it's a marathon. It's not a race. You know, this is not a get rich overnight program. I don't want you guys to be fooled by those bullshit Instagram posts. Oh, this guy has four Lamborghinis. <laughs> now go look at his dad's account and see how he has those four Lamborghinis. You know what I mean? Like it's. You know, don't be fooled by that shit, man. Like a lot of people get caught up in the hype and it's not like that. But this is something that if you take it right and you take it serious enough, you'll be able to make some good side income. Right. And again, that's if you have your job. You know, if, if you don't have time to day trade like me and Brian, where we can sit in front of a computer for fucking 10 hours and trade, that's OK, because that's what swing trading is about. Right. If you're busy and you have your main career and you want to make this a side job, then you can learn how to swing trade where you make a trade. You don't come back for fucking days later. I made this trade. What was it yesterday? I don't plan on this shit really taking effect to like another two days or something. And again, that's me just throwing it out there. Right. But when it happens, it happens. You know, I'm not expecting this shit right now. That's fine. Forex, I'm, I'm learning. I'm using Forex more for my swings because I want to become a swing trader. When I tell you guys to be uh you know uh what's it called to be uh god damn what the fuck is the word i'm looking for to to be versatile right I, that goes for me too i'm a day trader scalper you know i don't look for swings but i'm i'm picking it up i'm starting to make more and more you know swing trades and i'm starting with forex because crypto is my main you know scalping thing so i'm gonna try with forex right these swing trades and so far i'm like half and half i hit some I hit, I haven't hit the other, you know, this is still something new to me. You know, I've just started really dabbling in Forex this year, you know. So again, I expect it. I don't expect to be hitting fucking hundred percent on this. I'm going to get there. Trust me, you know, when I tell you guys I'm going to get there, but it's good. I know it's going to take some time. You know what I mean? Know that if you guys take this serious, that it's, it's going to take time, you know, it's going to take time, but it will be worth it. And when you have a group like what we have in Good Vibes, that you have guys like me, Brian, fucking Twisted, Seb, fucking all these guys that love to teach and help, you know, it, it makes it that much better. It makes the community better. You know what I mean? And it makes, you know, wanting to learn more fun. And these guys are joking around in the chats like we're, we're family, man. And I tell these guys all the time, if it's only me, Brian, and like five of us in this server, yo, dude, I, that, that it wouldn't bother me at all. I would be fine with it because at the end of the day, I'm going to do, you know, we're all going to do what we got to do at the end of the day as a man or as a woman. Right. We're going to fucking bust our ass. I got to trade to, you know, to provide for my kids. So I'm going to do what I got to do at the end of the day. But I like to teach, you know, Brian likes to be with you guys in these lives. He loves that shit, man. I love that shit. You know, um, it's on you guys, right? We can show you guys, but so much, but it's on you guys to take that step, you know, and to really take this serious. And this is something you want to do. And like I was saying, if you're going to make into, you know, if you want to pick this up as a side job, then learn how to swing trade, man. That way you don't have to be staring at these charts. And again, with, with the classes that we teach you guys or these lives, we show you guys ways of how you don't have to be on top of these things, right? Look, all these little lines are here for a reason. And you know what? If I want to put my alerts that I wanted to hit me on my iPhone, my fucking email, uh, web hook, what else? You know, set email, everything, right? Like, this thing notifies you when it hits certain lines. TPs, right? 
So again, you don't have to stare at these things, guys. You don't have to be on these trades 24-7. You have your DCA lines. You set an alert. It hits you on your phone. You could be in the fucking bathroom. You go to the bathroom. Oh, shit, it hit my DCA line. This is where I had planned to DCA. Well, let me DCA, you know, and still keep my stop loss where it was at. You know, you got to stick to your rules when it comes to trading, guys. Like when you start moving away from me, that's when things start to go bad. And I'm telling you guys from experience. When I stick to my rules, things go right, you know, because I've set certain fucking rules to, to, to avoid the bullshit. When I don't, when I get cocky and I'm like, ah, let me put a little extra, you know, instead of my normal 5%, let me put 10% on this one because I'm feeling cocky because I hit my last 10 trades. Guess what? Get, get, guess which one is the one that loads? This <laughs> is that fucking trade, man. It, it almost happens like... <laughs> almost exact every fucking time that i think i'm being greedy or or i'm breaking my rules i shit you not man that's the way the world works that's karma whatever you want to call it bro but it, it happens it, it tends to fuck me over you know and it always leads to that one thing right it's greed right if you ever feel you have to put more in a trade that's greed talking okay if you ever feel that you should take profits if you got this entry and you're up here asking yourself damn i wonder if i should trim what do you think? You just answered your own question. You should trim, right? If you're ever asking yourself that question, trim. You know what I mean? Because what happens when you don't? Oh, shit, I want more. Well, guess what? Wanting more is being greedy, man. You know, take what the market can give you sometimes. Because sometimes it'll give you a lot. And then sometimes it won't. You know, I think me and Brian have been through a, a few times where we're trading and fuck, dude, the whole week, all we're getting is 20 and 30 percent. And we're here mad like fucking assholes. And then I think about it, I'm like, dude, we're over here getting mad that we're only getting 20, 30 percent. But at least we're not getting losses because we know how those losses feel. They don't feel good. You know, so I'd rather those 20, 30 yeah. percent sometimes. Right, Brian, than, than to get a 100 yeah, percent yeah. loss. Right. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah, dude. I'll take I'll take those any day, man. I'll take this. And, you know, and it takes times to. To switch your mind to that, guys. But again, this is what we are here for. Anytime you guys have questions on anything that has to do with trading or good vibes, we are here. You guys DM us if you don't want to put it in the chat. Fine, you know, DM us and we'll hit you back as soon as we can. But we're here to help you guys. We're here to guide you guys in any way we can. Cool? All right. Well, I just wanted to get that out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys. So let's see. Um. All right, so we went over Bitcoin. Um, let me just go over it real fast. Look, see, this bitch is pushing, guys. She's pushing. We were looking at that thirty-minute one right here. Oh boy. Um, yeah, man, I'm I'm pretty bullish, guys. I feel like you know we've tapped this wall so many times that we might be able to see a nice breakout today. Or and again, I could be wrong, man. You know, we've also rejected at this exact point where we're at one, two, three, four times, and it's gone down. So. Look, 25. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That means, oh, Brian, you must be fucking printing on that mask right now. God damn. I actually sold after 180%. Hey, profits. Because I'd never leave runners. Profits, daddy. Profits. That's it. That's all right. Yeah. Dude, I played the breakout. Played Hell the yeah. breakout. And I saw it, you know. And, and what I did wish you I do? Held it. It did, is it just skyrocketing right now or something? Oh, my, okay, fucking no, Bitcoin is pushing. Oh, no. It actually, it actually came back down to my entry. So it's a good thing I sold when I did. Damn, dude, look at C98 too. C98 just rocketed the last two hours. Damn, I'm actually in the short on that. You I'm in the short on C98. Right? And look, look, you saw, look, guys, check this out. This is how crazy the market is, right? And I used to tell this to my students. When I tell you guys that every time you trade to look at your watches, just to get a quick glimpse of what your market is doing, I mean exactly that. I don't mean that, hey, you looked at this at eight in the morning and you're making the trade at three and at eight in the morning, everything was green. So at three o'clock in the afternoon, you're thinking you're going long because you thought everything was green. When I tell you guys to look at this shit before you trade, just quickly glimpse. Guys, two minutes ago, this was almost 90% red. Look how fast the market changes. Look how much green has been coming in since that little run up. Look at the alts are how they're pushing up, right? And mind you, this was green, right? This was all red, red, red. All of this was red. Look, this one is starting to switch green. Now Neo all of a sudden boosted up. It was the last one on the bottom. It was the fucking one with the most red, highest percentage, all of a sudden skyrocketed. And look at it go. And now it's what? Probably the number one pusher right now? Let's see. It's uh, Bell is... Bell was at 32%. Damn, and C98 and at 16. Lena, Holy Lena. fuck. Damn, you see, we missed these. Fuck, yeah, right? I know. I'm kind of iffy on it. I'm just trying to catch the top. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get the breakout right there on that bad boy too, man. Damn. Uh, I, see, I, I have a very tight stop this. loss at 37. It's 37.25 is my stop loss. It's like 10%. Well, look, 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 look <laughs> at this, Brian. Risk. Look at this. This is an old entry, bro. And look where exactly where it fucking rejects. Or <laughs> at least it's oh my rejecting. God. <laughs> That's how these fucking entries are <laughs> killing me sometimes, dude. Yeah, I but, just... I was looking on the day chart, and so that's why I was like, oh, "All right, all right, all right." Yeah. See now, so now everything, dude. Now I'm looking at this it. watch list, and look now when we were seventy percent fucking or sixty percent red and forty percent green. Now it's the opposite. Now we're fucking more green than red, and that's just happened within the last what twenty minutes that we've been talking. Yo, dude, this shit is gonna. Oh Those man. Right. Oh, I went along with this, Brian. Fuck. Which one? Bro, fucking Bitcoin, dude. Damn it. Let me look at it. I'll pull oh, it up, see what man. I got on it. Damn, I, I should have longed it while we were talking. Uh, it's, it's yeah, extended. I was going to say, our long would have been over at 900. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it, I mean, right. it could... Yeah, I know. Oh, um, dude, it's literally topped at the last 25 zones. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, again, it's, we have a lot of rejection here, man. We have a lot. So, you know, don't mean, you know, we can even go as high as this. We can even go as high as the last week, right? Like, they, these are all points. Whenever you see these wicks like this, guys, of something running up and then it coming straight down, I'd like to call those, like, clear-cut reversals, right? Those are your, your pivot points. You know, those are your points that you look at, right? These are the points that I look at when I'm making these strong demand zones and, and, and supply zones, right? Like, right now, this big red one is the daily one, right? But if I was to make a 30-minute... um supply zone it would look something like this and this is why i want you guys to practice and start you know identifying these things it would one go to where i can grab all of these right and then to the highest point of that one okay so you have one hit there you have two right and i think almost three this one close close enough to three four five six hits on this little zone that it just built on the 30 minute right so this is what i'm saying like we have a zone here risking you know buying along at resistance it's one of those mistakes that i tend to do a lot and i will not do you know i'm trying to really really narrow that shit down this year do guys like i got you know i look at my trades right and i go back from time to time and i look at them and i look at the ones that don't fly right like the ones that don't you know um perform and when i've seen things like this right that i'm longing at resistance oh well it didn't go you know it didn't fucking go long it went down as soon as you got in well it's because of things like this is because sometimes you know and those are risky trades right like those are the ones that i tell you guys hey guys this is super risky you know jumping on along it's because i'm buying at resistance right now of course if you're buying that resistance what do you as expect buying that resistance for something to come down right i'm so used to breakout trades because i came from a bull market i was so used to seeing what we've been seeing experiencing the past few weeks which is something being at resistance and then boom you know breaking out so one of my biggest mistakes is that man is always trying to anticipate the breakout um sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't right like i think it worked on bitcoin and when this and when they fail, they fail hard. Oh, dude, they they reject like a bitch, Brian, like a fucking bitch. Also, seventy four percent on that deceased ninety eight. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Now. <laughs> get it, brother. Get it. You see. But look, this one, I, this one was an anticipation, right? Look here, I am looking for a possible short on this. Look, looking for that trend break if we can get it. I anticipated the breakout on on Bitcoin, right? It rejected off of the zone. I had my trend line there. And look where I got in in the entry, right? Normally, you're supposed to wait for that trend break. I anticipated it. That's a that's a no-no. And, a, you know, it's, it's, it's I don't want to say it's frowned upon, right? Like, it's risky, right? Because, again, it's that 50-50. It's almost like a gamble where it's 50-50, man. If this shit doesn't perform, it's going to fuck me up, right? Like, I could have easily caught the bounce on this for something to run up and hit my stop loss, right? Because it was following trend. So those are the problem with anticipation. However, right? However, guys, when you anticipate it the right way, I mean, look, 253, 339, like it was a beautiful trade, man. It, it broke out perfectly, right? And even this could have been a good entry, right? Even if it pulled up like that or waiting for that pull up, you know, your leg up to continue going down, this would have even been a better entry because it broke trend, right? After that nasty drop, you know, there's always that little push up, right? From people buying in. But if it's going to keep going down, it'll peak out and then boom, drop like it did right here. You know, so this would have been another great entry. However, like I said, sometimes us as traders, we want to take these chances, right? We want to see these things to see if they perform. And again, you know, it's not only just me gambling, right? Like, it's not me 
actually gambling, like, look at the signs. I also had a crossing, right? I teach you guys about these crossings all the time. I had my crossing on my stochastic, right? Boom. I had my crossing on my MACD, which really, you know, that's what I love to do. And I really love to grab these crossings on the MACD, but it showed me a crossing there, there, and red momentum on my lazy bear. That's three for three. That's three strikes right there, guys. That's why I really went on this. You know, I anticipated the breakout, but with confirmation of three red or negative or fucking short, you know, indicators showing me that they might be shorts. See what I'm saying? So, again, it's I, I probably shouldn't have said gamble. It, it, it's not a gamble when you're practicing these TA, right? When you're using this TA and you see the things you see. This is a, a, a go-getter for me, guys. When I have three... You know, and again, I didn't even fucking show you guys the rest of the indicators, right? Like that day, I just literally saw the trend. I saw rejection here and I really quick eyed this and I saw that all three were showing me downtrend. So I jumped on and I anticipated it and it worked. See what I'm saying? But again, it comes with practice, right? It's not just fucking looking at something and jumping in and eyeing it. It's looking at the resistance. It's looking at the trend break, you know, hoping for the trend break, but also seeing your signs are just showing you that it's pretty bearish, right? So Practice, guys. Practice, 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 man. Chart reading, chart watching, whatever you want to call it, dude. Paper trading. Those are all things that will help you guys get better and better, right? And then when you guys have a set system, a set system that is showing you consistent gains, you know, and again, even not the gains. When you have a system that's showing you that you can hit about six, seven, eight, or nine out of your 10 calls, you're doing well. OK, and you keep working on it, you know, knock on wood. Thank God. I want to say that I've been consistently for the past months, man, months and months through almost a year and a half um, writing my trades down. I've been always hitting every month for fucking 75 and up 70 in between 75 and 85 guys i'm not i'm not a hundred percent i'm not ar i'm not one of these guys that like to fluff up and again i'm not saying ar does it but you know these other guys that like to fluff up their numbers and shit and their trading log i'm not a hundred percent i don't claim to be i don't want to be I, I i'm not perfect right nobody is only god is perfect you know but I, I, I want these mistakes and I sometimes call for these mistakes because those are the ones that piss me off when I get a loss and it's something because I, oh shit, I called, you know, a resistance trying to long, then that's on my fault, right? Because I know I'm buying along at resistance. So what the fuck do you expect to it happen, right? It's it's most likely, you know, more than other, it's going to fucking reject, right? Look at right now. If we, if I was so fucking hung up on that one candle, look how high it went, right? What I can, oh guys, I want to get on. I want to get on. That's what this market does. When you see shit like this, it just makes you want to get on, you know, big red candles. Oh my God, I got to get on a short. Boom. Then that shit just reverses and starts going up, right? That's what this market is designed for, right? It did it right now in front of us, guys. I mean, fuck. I, I kept saying I wanted to jump in this long. I'm glad I didn't because my entry would have been up here, right? <laughs> and look where we're at right now. 100x, I want to say that's more than 50% down right now. Now, am I down and out? No, right? Because, again, you never know. This shit can still push up. But, again, not the best entry. You know, this is why we look at these things. This is why we talk about it, right? So, you know, we don't get caught in the hype. And we don't get caught off of these big green candles that look so enticing that, you know, you want to fucking full port it because you see it go up to here and you feel like it's going to get up to here. You know what I mean? Like, this is what the market does. It, it's, it's designed to catch people like that, man. It's designed to run up like this and, and, and entice people to buy that long because, fuck, there's so many green candles that our eyes are seeing it going up here, right? And then we're buying at that resistance. And then what happens? Boop, 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 your whole account. Right. Patience, guys. Patience is another thing that I have written down next to me every time I trade. And every time I trade, I have two words written down. Patience and discipline. And I say it in Spanish. Mind you, I have it in Spanish written down disciplina. But discipline, you know, you got to have those two things to trade, man. You got to have patience. And I'm not a patient person, bro. I am one of the most impatient fucking guys you will meet. But, but guess what? Me getting older and me trading has taught me a lot of fucking patience, you know, and I'm getting better at it. I'm not fully there. I won't lie to you guys and be like, oh, yeah, I'm the most patient guy right now. Bullshit. You guys just saw me and fucking wanting to get on this. That's, you know, that's my anticipation. That's me wanting to fucking get on, you know, but patience taught me to not do it, right? To not get on because, look, I would have been fucked right now. So patience, guys. Learn yeah. patience. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, Brian, look, we would have got fucked, bro. Look, I would have got that shit yeah. at the very top. 
And I would have been kicking myself yeah. right now, like, fuck, man, I knew I shouldn't have fucking got on the fucking resistance. It would have been one of those, as soon as I fucking enter, it goes in the wrong fucking direction. <laughs> that's what happens. Yo, it guys, happens. Brian will tell you the other night, what call was it? Um, Was it Alice? No, 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 no. Uh, GRT. GRT, bro. GRT long. Guys, I got in our GRT long. I swear it looked almost something like this, but it wasn't as bad as a drop, right? But I got in right here. The very next candle, the next five candles, the five minute fucking candles. Red, 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 red. Yo, I got on live and I saw Brian and, and Jay Leezy on there. And I'm like, and you know, I lost my shit. I was like, guys, look at this fucking shit. Motherfucker, man. What the fuck? I, every time I fucking get on a fucking train, it goes the opposite way. Yo, guys, I lost my shit, right? Lost it. The guys, my brothers were there to calm me down and make me laugh. And we were joking about it. What happened hours later, man? That shit exploded to no tomorrow. You know An what I mean? Amazing call. Like, dude, that shit exploded, but patience, right? Patience. Trust your fucking process, right? If you have something, if you have something drawn out and you're back testing it and you're drawing it, if you're anything like me, I want to say best thing would would be to do is to get in, right? Have if you know if this is your DCA or your stop loss put an alert on it, right? Alert. The minute it touches it, it's going to alert you. TPs, put an alert. The minute it touches it, it's going to alert you. That way, you're not going fucking crazy when it's doing all of this, right? When it's doing the this and it's not going your way. When you come to it, when it actually hits an alert, then that's it, right? It's okay. If it hit my DCA and I'm looking at my signs and the, you know everything looks good for that DCA, then I will do it. If I don't DCA at a line that I put for a DCA, it's for a reason. It's because everything still looks, you know, bearish or, or you know, the opposite of what I'm doing. So I'm not going to do it. I'd rather just take the stop loss than to add more money and, and, and you know, continue to get the loss, right? Do, you know, do your studies, man. This is what these things are for. Set yourself up for success. If you're on a trade... And like I said, you're anything like me where you go crazy when it's not going your way and you're losing your shit and you're flipping out, you know, don't look at it, right? Set your entry, set your TP for an alert, set your DCA. If those are the only two lines that you need at that point, right? It just It's either going to hit fucking one or the other, right? Unless it's going to go sideways for hours. And that's even better because if it's going sideways for hours, you're probably breaking your head every time it goes up and fucking, you know, happy. Yeah, we're going to fucking get profits. And then it's not. And then it's going under your entry and you're losing your shit. Like, damn, we're going to hit fucking stop loss. You know, don't drive yourselves crazy like that, man. Like, just put your alerts. Come back to it whenever it hits your iWatch or whatever the fuck you got, Android, you know, your computer, it'll alert you. These things are really on point with it. Like, I mean, look, 83 fucking alerts. It's, it, they're here for a reason, you know? And Brian, check this out. Check this out, Brian. One of my friends, my, one of my dev friends did us a fucking favor, right? I've been trying to do this with, with my boy LJ. We were trying to get this done and we couldn't figure this out. I have something now, right? And I'm going to set up the uh, channel really soon, Brian. It works like this, right? Let's say all of us, we start doing Sunday preps or Monday preps like this, right? Where we're all in a, in a class and we're um, dissecting these charts, right? Let's say we have that alert for this breakout, okay? I can now put it, and again, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do it in a bit. Um, and I think it only works because my bot is connected, but whatever. We're, we're going to have a channel now where I'm going to give you guys TA, right? Any one of us could do it. You know, if Brian has a certain chart he wants to put out. He'd be like, Hey guys, look at Bitcoin, right? We'll write a nice little paragraph for you guys and everything. Look at Bitcoin. This is what we're looking at. I am going to set an alert on a breakout trade here. They'll do the minute it hits that shit is going to come out on our channel here or whatever channel we have. Mind you, look, I'm, I've been testing it. Where is that fucker? Test channel. I've been testing it here and look, even he's playing with it, but watch. These are it. Every time it hits the alert, it'll give us a notification on our channel. Now, again, I think the guy is still trying to work on it to say exactly the price. Right now, he only has it to say exactly uh, what the coin is and the time. And I don't like this signal type either because I don't want you guys to see it and be like, oh, shit, well, it says buy. Let's buy when it could be a short. You know what I mean? <laughs> but again, we'll fix that later. But right now, we're just back testing everything. But dude, super dope where now we can set these charts up, Brian. And, you know, we can come back one day. Maybe when we're sleeping, the guys could see it. You know, they'll see the chart on top. And once the fucking, you know, it hits, 
they'll get the ping on it, you know, and they can, we could add the role to it if you want to have that role and they can go check that chart out. If we're not here or if we're here, we can go check it out. Like, oh shit, Brian, look, we got the alert for that fucking Bitcoin, you know, that we put two days ago or that XRP from two weeks ago, you know, it finally broke that trend. Let's go check it out and and be oh, able yeah, to check the breakouts yo do it and be able to take advantage of these things brother i've been aiming and looking for something like this for a long time i'm just tweaking it out uh with my dev i'm gonna work on it with lj as well to get it to work to perfection you know i'm fucking perfectionist i like shit to work good um once it's ready i'm gonna unleash it bro and i'm gonna put it out there and watch guys we're gonna have more lives like this where we can set up charts for weeks you know it won't be the same day oh shit let's just get in today no we can put matic on the fucking chart you know look at a bigger time frame daily four hour or whatever weekly you know set our trends let me see you know something like this where we got our trends going up and and be like, hey, guys, we're going to short this fucker if she breaks trend, right? Well, now we don't have to stare at it, right? Now we can set it up. Boom. Crossing down the trend line. We'll set the alert name. That's where I got to put the channel in. And it'll alert us when that shit crosses down. You know, again, we don't have to stare at these things, man. Now I'm telling you guys, set yourself up for success. These are things that I'm showing you guys that just makes trading that much easier. I think when... uh. Trading View implemented this alert system. I fell in love, man, because I was one to stare at charts for hours, dude. Stare at, and mind you, this is a four hour fucking candle. So I gotta wait the next four, eight hours to see if this shit really breaks and come back every time and look at it. When now I have something as easy as this that I can just draw a simple fucking trend line, you know, it'll alert me and let me know exactly. Boom, there it goes. And mind you, but look, I have it on tap. You, this is the one I was supposed to put, right? So whenever you have it on only once, the minute it's touching it, like it's doing right now, whether a wick, whatever, it's going to alert you. You want it on bar close. You want it on bar close. So that means now that when it crosses down and on this four hour candle, it's closing under the trend line, then it will alert us. If you have it on tapping like that, it's only once it'll just, you know, it'll hit you every time it taps that uh, line. But these are ways that you set yourself up for success. You know, you don't have to stare at these charts. You don't have to be zombies to these charts, right? You know, again, I, when I say I encourage it, I encourage it because it trains your eyes, right? But too much of it sometimes could be deadly, right? Like there's days when my fucking brain hurts because I'm looking at so many charts and I want to stop and I just can't, you know? Um, so breaks are always needed, right? Like breaks are always needed. You know, I always encourage that, man. Take as many breaks as you guys can. But no, when you come back, it's time for work, right? Let's let's work. Let's look at these charts. Let's get this shit down packed so we can do what we want to do, right? So we can learn this and, and you know, we all want to be financially free. Well, we'll do it as a team. You know what I mean? And we'll learn this together, guys. But there's ways, man. There's, there's so many ways, guys, to make your trading easier, man. You just, you have to find it and you have to put in the work. And these classes like this will help you get there. You know, we do these classes for a reason, right? Like we couldn't be, me and Brian could trade all fucking day, just us two, man, and we'll make money, dude. Like this is what we do. We love to do this, but we love to show others. You know, we love to show others what we know. You know, we ran into some guys that don't like that shit. And it's so weird to me when you ask somebody, hey, dude, what, you know, system do you use or what indicator? Oh, I can't tell you, man, that it only works with me and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what do you mean that indicator only works with you? Why don't you let somebody else try it? You know, those are greedy people, man. And, people, and they're out there, right? Not everybody is good hearted like us and shit, but... You know, you don't have that with us. With us, dude, guys, we'll, we'll share every single fucking strategy we use. We love to do it. We're showing you guys day to day of what we're doing, right? It's on you guys to pick it up and, and learn. And, you know, and again, you don't have to do exactly what me and Brian do. Pick the things that you like. Pick the things that you don't like. You know, if anything, my trading or, or the way I trade is a formula of shit that I've learned for the past three years picking people's brains. I've learned shit from Brian. I've learned shit from Twisted Churro. I've learned shit from fucking so many others, right? And what? At the beginning, we had traders coming in here every week to give classes. I'm planning to get back on that, guys. You know, I've just been a little busy with other things. But I'm planning to get more guys to come back in here and start doing those classes like we used to. You know, random um, traders because of that. I don't care what they trade and what numbers they have. But I want you guys to pick their fucking brains to learn what they do, you know, and that way you can pick what you like, what you don't like, and you make it into your own formula. That's all my trading is. Everything I've learned the past few years is shit that I've learned from other people that I pick and choose what I like, and then I make it into my own blend. That's it.
You know, that's that's what pretty much I want to say what trading fucking is. It's just you learning, you know, applying, backtesting, and trying to get your own strategy. Your own strategy, right? This is why I say your own because everybody has literally different strategies. I've never did something like trading where I want to say uh, if, if I was to break down what well, we have, 14 people in this chat right now. If I was to break down each and every uh, 14 of you guys in this chat right now, I guarantee you that not one of us have the same exact layout, same exact exact fucking colors on our candles, same exact color on our backgrounds, or same exact fucking indicators that we use. That's the beauty of trading, that when you have your system, you're not wrong, right? Just because you do shit different doesn't mean you're wrong. If it works for you, use it, right? Like, you guys see what I do. There's people that do less that have a good system that works for them, and they're hitting 80% and up, you know? And then, of course, you have your other people that do too much. I say it's too much, you know, but for them, it's not. And they're looking at market caps, volume, fucking everything, right? I try to simplify things as much as I can. Everything in life. Because that's where life is could be really hard if you make it out to be. But if you look for the simple things in life, you can find it, right? And get it and, and live a good life. You know, so I, I like to make things simple, right? And this is why I try to just show you guys simple shit like fucking supply and demand zones, right? Just even being able to play this up and down, you can get great profits from, right? Identifying trend, trend breaks. Trend breaks, I've shown you guys over and over, man. 90% or 80% of my calls are trend breaks because I look for the trend. I look for those higher lows. And when it breaks and my signs are showing me fucking that, you know, the MACD is all the way up here and shit like that, the signs are clicking, I'm getting on that short. Right, because it trend breaks and my signs are there. You know what I mean? So everything is there for you guys, man. Whatever you guys need, we are here to help. Um, I know we kind of went off topic a little bit today on Monday prep, but it's all right. You know, again, we're gonna be here all week. I'm here all week, man. Um, I'll be doing some uh lives tomorrow. I think I have one meeting. That's it. If not, then I'll probably be on most of the day anyway. Um, but I want to get into I'm some trades. You. Yeah, you say, oh hell yeah, you work tomorrow, Brian or no? <laughs> I got tomorrow off and I have Wednesday off, so I might be trading Wednesday too. Yeah. Oh, I have one live trading for a different server and yeah. then uh then I'll free. Alright, so then you already know, man. We're we're here, guys, man. We're gonna be doing our thing here. Um you know, any questions you guys have, man, please feel free to reach out to us, um, DM or join us in the chat. You know, those chats are, are, are there for a reason, man. Those guys you know, I want to say 90% of those guys in that chat know what the fuck they're doing, right? Like, no, they know their shit, you know, and then they're always happy to spread the knowledge with you guys that don't know yet, you know, and just because you don't know yet doesn't mean, you know, you're any less. Like, don't be scared to ask questions, man. You know, don't be scared to ask questions. If anything I've learned, guys, from Discord is that Discord could be very, very beneficial for you guys, all right? I learned so much about trading because of being in Discords. You know, and being in the right discourse and with the right community of people that wanted to teach me. And believe me, guys, when I started coming up, I was in all these voice chats, right? I was in all these fucking uh, meetings and shit that they were having in classes. And I was one of the first guys. Hey, guys, so you guys have any questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, listen. So why you put that line there? Okay, well, here, Kenny, I put it here because of blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks, man. And don't, guys. Don't care what anybody. Don't don't be shy and, and, and you know, not want to ask a question because you're scared what the next person might think. Fuck them. At the end of the day, you're doing this for you, right? For you. And nobody should get in the way of you and what you want to do in life, right? And if you want to learn this shit, man, shake that scaredness off. Ask those questions. Ask questions. There's no such thing as a uh, as a bad question. You know, ask questions. You want to learn this shit? You want, you know you want the 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 secret sauce or or a quicker way to get to where you want to get to? Then ask questions. You know what I mean? And we will help you guys get there. All right. Um, I want to say that kind of wraps up Monday prep because my son is downstairs screaming his fucking head off with his mom, which means I got to give him a bath now and put him to bed. But um. As soon as I'm done with that, you know, I'm coming back on. I want to see how this trade plays out. This one has still been a little funky right now. Um, but I don't, I'm not in any crypto right now. So I definitely want to look at a crypto one for tonight. Dude, this XTZ uh, fucking double top is really looking prime, man. Like really I'll looking look good. Right Check that one out for me real quick, Brian. I, 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 damn. So like... Uh, and it's in the red still. Okay. Yeah, what time frame are you on? 
15 looking right now. 30 minutes was looking okay. okay. Hold on, let me look at the signs. All right, yeah, it's, it bounced up the top of my cloud, rejected out. It's just wicking off the bottom. It hasn't broken yet. Mm. So I'd say a break of 120, would be your go. Well, shit, brother, then I think that might be it, man. All right, Brian, awful shorting at this break. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> full port. You guys heard it from Brian. The man said it, full port. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I'll, I'll look at this. I'm definitely going to look at this. If we break this by the time I come back and, you know, the signs are looking good, then I'll definitely short this yeah. bad boy. But, yeah, by the way, Kenny, Kenny there's... What's up, Mr. Bear? There's a sign that... Well, I'm good, man. There, there's a sign oh, that asks... Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I'm seeing some of these stop loss are like minus 300%, where take profit is at 50%. Bro, I'm going to answer for my part. If you if you see this, don't take the trade. Honestly, it's really bad because minus 300% is like, <laughs> oh, it, it's, yeah. it's going to destroy your port. Yo, sad. So don't yeah, take yeah. it. Actually. Yeah, don't don't do it, man. Listen, I and I I think I know who you're talking about. I'm not gonna mention his name because I don't want to put anybody on blast. Um, the person you're talking about that had it because I saw the conversation. I think in chat. Um, remember he's new, right? He's not a kid, which is good, you know. Whatever, like he's he's an older dude. Um, he's new to to doing what he's doing, right? I what I'll be shitting you guys if I lied to you and said I didn't do the same thing when I first started trading and making calls. When I tell you guys my entries would be like. You know, guys, I'm fucking shorting here, right? And my stop loss was fucking up here just to give myself space. Mind you, I didn't know that it was like three, four hundred percent until now. So now I know how to measure, right? Like fucking five hundred. And if I'm fifty x, if I'm a hundred x, this is five negative five hundred percent right here. You know what I mean? So when you guys see that, right? Don't. This is why we like to tell you guys when you guys get in people's trades. Look at it, man. This is why we try to teach you guys what we try to teach you guys, right? So when you guys do take trades, look at it. You know, if I don't give a fuck if AR is on a 20 streak call. If he throws out a short on XCZ, guys, open up your fucking charts. Look at your zones, you know. he, you know, it, it, All it yeah, takes is that 100%. one trade for him to be wrong, right? For, for you to be confident and be like, hey, shit, AR is not going to miss. Let me fucking full port this call <laughs> and make up for my losses. And that'll be the one that he misses, right? And again, even with AR, oh. right? Yo, even with AR, his last call, wasn't that shit like a negative fucking 300% that he went to, that BNX? Yeah, right. yeah, 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 and then and then it got delisted or something. Dude, that, it, I, I felt so bad. Bro. I felt so bad for everyone that took it. No, it do it. But at the same it time, happens. if you look at AR, he does that. Like he he does, like he tends to do that. Honestly, so like you should be prepared. You know, like use isolated. Don't use cross mm -hmm. when you're taking AR trade. Yo, when you're taking anybody's trades, guys, look at your charts, man. Please, I'm begging you guys, look at yeah. your charts. You know, make sure Except that if it's Kenny. Up. If it's Kenny, don't look. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, look at the charts, man. I don't care who it is. Even if Armro's been on fire, man, make sure you be like, hey, Armro, look, you forgot about this. Because believe it or not, I've had people tell me that. Like, hey, Kenny, um, you know, you, you forgot to, you forgot that that one resistance. And, and I go back and they're right, you know. I'm like, holy shit, it's not going up. Yeah. You hit resistance. I didn't see it. I didn't, you know, see it at that moment. And damn, it hit and it went down lost you know what i mean like more eyes this is why i like to do these lives too like more eyes on a chart will always be better right than opposed to just me looking at it by myself because i might miss something but i'm roll my catch it or brian might catch it and they might save me a fucking headache of a loss on something that i didn't miss you know that i didn't see so you see uh, the c98 short i did that shit, when yeah. i told you i was shorting it yes sir <laughs> Oh, by the way, BTC is making a move to 25k again. What the fuck is on with this guy, man? Hold on, where is it at? I mean, honestly, honestly, I think we get a deviation over 25 to 100. Because each time we're, like, stopping at 25 to 100, I think we get a deviation over it. It's like, get out the bears that are shorting 25 to 100. Maybe we see 25, 600, then we go back down, I'm feeling. I don't know. Looking to short 2,500, uh, 2,600. I don't know, man. You're looking to long but, I, mean, I would want to short it anytime. No, no, I Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> I want to short it at 2,500, but at the same time, if I short it, 
I want it just to like was right. trade back down, or else if it's if we're, it's like we're gonna leg up I'm right out. now. <laughs> I think we're gonna leg up one more time. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm thinking, and I I'm like thinking twenty five six hundred. Yo, Brian, I'm so happy exactly I didn't take like, that fucking long. Look at that, dude. I, yo, I was looking, yeah. Amra, I was looking to long Bitcoin because of the 30 minute, right? It was showing me a nice fat green. This was all the way up to here. And I'm like, guys, I want to long this. Oh, and look at that shit. I would have got an entry at 258086. Uh, and look where it went down to, bro. And now, like, I would have been down almost 100% right here, I want to say, right? Let me see. Nice. That's nice, bro. Uh, I, I mean, Kenny, you, ta- right you always taught me to wait for it to close. Mm-hmm. Always taught me to do that. Yo, brother, right? Like, right? Isn't, isn't that shit crazy minutes. how these candles will do that? Yeah. You know, it'll make you look bro, like it's going to fucking two, three run. minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. switch. Yeah. <laughs> like, two, three minutes can make the absolute difference. Bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time, brother. Big time. All right, guys, I, I got I got to hop out, man. I got to go give this kid a quick bath, put him to bed. Um, If you guys are down to join me in like another hour, I don't mind jumping back on and looking for some trades that we can possibly trade tonight. No, just ta- 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 tag everyone. Yes. If I'm awake, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in. All right, say no more. Say no more. Guys, thank you again for joining. Um, I think, Brian, you're going to stick on right now or no? If not, you know, no yeah, worries. Yeah, I know you got yeah. shit to do. Huh? Oh, no, I, this is. All I'm doing. I was just playing Hogwarts earlier, but I got bored. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my man. All right, say no more. So I think, guys, well, Brian is going to stick on. If you guys want to stick around yeah. and look at charts, if not, I'll be back in like another hour. Let me just go put this kid to bed because he's been on fire all fucking day. <laughs> kick his, <laughs> kick he's my son. What do you expect, bro? What do you think he's got his energy? Right? Bro, you just said he's on fire, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little motherfucker, bro. He's, he's, he's a Duran, bro. So he mess. Um, yeah, let me go put this little kid to bed, bro, and I will yeah, come back on, and man. jump on with you guys if you guys are down, all right? All right, man. All right, my brothers, my sisters, always a pleasure. Um, again, guys, anything you guys need, man, we're here for you guys. Any questions you guys have, please let us know, um, and I will see you guys in about an hour, all right? All right. All right, one love, guys. Peace out. Peace. So I am uh, definitely looking at XTZ.